Hi everyone, welcome to 1700. I'm Tara and I'm lucky enough to be here with some of the boys from After the Fall. Here we have Mac, Ben and Mark. I got it right this time. Yes. <laughs> so of course you are currently touring your brand new album, In Exile, which I hear has been a lot of fun. It has been so far, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, Andrew got in a fight with a signpost on the way home from Geelong. Is that why he's not here right now? Yeah. He's, yeah. He's just sleeping at all. We could have picked him up from the medical centre before we came. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that your shenanigans haven't changed in the last few years of playing. Of course, because your first EP came out in 2003, way back when I was in year 12. That makes us all wow, feel a little really bit old. old. Wow, we're really old. I was um, <laughs> Of course, that was As Far As Thoughts Can Reach. Um, and I think the first song that came to prominence off that was probably Three Quarter Binding. Yeah. To agree. The radio started playing it. Yeah, yeah. And that was re released on your self titled album, which came out in 2004. Yes. And I have to ask, because I've always wanted to know, why did you remix it on the album? Because I liked the EP version much better. Um, um, record company Pressure. Mm. They wanted us to do another song off it, and I was just like, no, nah, flat out, no, nah, it's not going to happen. They wanted to do Siren Sounds again as well. It's just yeah. like. We've already yeah, done it. It's like, so, so we just did one and I, w I wasn't happy about it. I'm still not happy about it. But yeah, we did it. Well, good, because neither am I. So yeah. I We're not with that record label anymore. Yeah, so we can do what we want. Yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay that mix out all you like. Well, I was, yeah, that's something I've always personally wondered, so I'm really glad I know now. Yeah. I hope everyone at home was wondering as well, because otherwise the album version heaps heavy. So when I hear it, it's mm. like. Dun, 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 dun. Very metal. Yeah, it's full of metal version. I know, I found it didn't really fit in with the, the flow of the rest of the album. Mm, I agree. It doesn't at all. Oh, I could join this band. <laughs> Just be your advisor. <laughs> well, off that, off that album, I think the most known song still, because every time I mention that you guys were coming in, everyone sang this song to me, Mirror Mirror. Yes. Yeah. You sound, I was think, gonna say, you sick of playing that? No, it's, no. We just, we, there was a point where we stopped rehearsing it, just because we were sick. It's it, it's not fun to play at rehearsal, but it's it's fun to play live because yeah. the reaction it gets. But hmm. doing it at rehearsal is just like whatever, man. Because unless there was like 20 people to go, like <laughs> sing, singing along and that kind of stuff. But yeah, it, it's still good to play to people. So yeah. Yeah, we've never not played it, I don't think. But then, what song, what song have we not? So we started not to. Oh, three quarter. We started not to play that, and then we've not. We played it pretty much forever. And this chick the other week's like, well, "Why didn't you play that song?" So like, you've seen us like twenty times. <laughs> Isn't it time to do some other songs? Some, you know, no. some love. <laughs> Time to move on. Well, I think it's an example of how much we love that song if that's the first question I had. It was just about that song. We might have to re rethink and put it back. Maybe we can re-record it, put it on the next record. Hey, do it! <laughs> but make it better this time. We did the dance version, you know? Like, we did a dance version of it. Really? Yeah, remember with the, the keyboard? And we, and it was like a robot. It was like, there up, there up. Where can we find a copy of that song? It's on the on YouTube. Like it's There's like ATF TV things mm -hmm. we've got. And it's like one of the title tracks. Well, one of the... Maybe try ATF TV 2 or 3. And it's on there. That's where it's, it's up there. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Wow. It's it's, oh, it's awesome. Have you ever played that one live? No. Yeah, but no. you don't know the robots. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can find you something. Where do we find after the four robots? I don't know any robots. Mm. Okay, well, we'll move into your second album, of course, which was Always Forever Now, which was a super rapid release after your self titled album that came out only the year before. That one came out in 2005. Why was there such a rush? Five years to get over that. Like, it was such a rush. I mean, to have two full length albums in two years is quite a push for any band. Yeah, I mentioned before label pressure. Okay, we might leave it there. I don't, I don't want to get in trouble and have any record labels calling me out. So we'll leave it there. But we will be back in a moment to talk more about the current release and the current tour.